It was feeling like fall yesterday. Now it's a little warmer. Yeah, we're starting to heat things back up, but we will be looking for another dose of cooler air later on this week. Uh, details on that in just a second. But we've been talking about this rainfall, and earlier in the show we talked about what the rainfall has done for the drought. So where exactly do we stand as far as precip goes for the entire year? Well, of course, we started off rather slow at the beginning of the year, as we've seen throughout the past couple of years, but we have had a stellar monsoon season. Most of the rainfall we have picked up this year has been during monsoon season, including the four and a half inches we have seen in this month alone. Now, you put all those numbers together, we are right around the eight and a half inches of rainfall for the year at the Sunport. And on average, we get about nine and a half inches of rainfall. So we are about an inch away from getting to average for this year and we still have a little more than three months left to go before the year is even over and we still have our fourth wettest month of the year on the way. October usually sees over an inch of rainfall on average so we could very well do it next month alone and by the way the last year we were above average for precip was 2007 so it would certainly be nice if we can end this year at average or maybe just even a little bit above average for the year. Here's a look at Albuquerque right now we are starting to see more sunshine after all the wet weather we've already seen this month. 67 degrees the current temperature with a calm wind. We are looking at temperatures now still in the 50s for Alamosa, but into the 60s for most other locations, although Los Alamos is still sitting at 59 degrees. Down to the south, we are warming up very nicely. Into the 70s for most locations, Hobbs at 81 degrees. We're at 80 degrees in dimming, and we will continue to warm things up a little bit over the next couple of days with all the sunshine that we will be seeing. But we are watching another storm system that's now starting to make its way onto the Pacific Northwest. And that storm system is actually going to miss us to the north, but it is going to impact us later on in the week with another dose of cool air. But for right now, southwesterly flow in place across the state. That's helping us warm up not only today, but also into tomorrow as well. So look for another sun-filled day for tomorrow with the warm temperatures sticking around. But as that storm system gets closer, it will eventually pass to our north. On the back end of it, we'll drop down another backdoor cold front. This cold front is going to be a dry one, so not quite the big front that we saw over the weekend, but we will be looking for another dose of cool air, and you'll see that in your zone-by-zone zone forecast starting in southern Colorado with temperatures today into the low to mid-70s with mostly sunny skies. We could grab a couple of storms toward the end of the week and into the weekend with that storm system passing through Colorado, but most of New Mexico is going to miss impacts as far as showers and storms go. Northwest seeing sunny skies for today, temperatures into the 70s. We warm to 80 degrees for Wednesday before dropping to the mid-60s on Friday. Behind that front, we'll eventually rebound those temperatures a little over the weekend. Over the southwest, partly cloudy skies will be what, we, what we'll be looking for this afternoon. Temperatures into the 80s for this afternoon as well. We do cool down here behind that front over the weekend, back into the low to mid 70s for Silver City. Over the southeast, mostly sunny skies, highs into the 80s. We'll be looking at the low 90s for Wednesday and Thursday. Then that front comes through. We're back into the upper 80s for Friday, low 80s over the weekend and to start next week. Over the northeast, chilly start this morning, but we will be warming up into the 70s this afternoon, and we continue to stay on the warm side through the next couple of days, back into the 60s by the weekend. Over the northern mountains, mostly sunny skies, highs into the 60s and 70s. We'll be looking at the 60s once again for Santa Fe toward the end of the week and into the weekend. Over the east mountains, mostly sunny skies, highs into the mid to upper 70s in the metro. We'll top out right around 80 degrees, and we'll be close to 80 degrees once again for tomorrow before that front comes through, back into the upper 70s for Thursday, and low 70s, in fact, struggling to reach 70 degrees by Saturday. Oh, yeah. Definitely feeling like fall once again. Okay, thank you, John.